far back as I can remember, I learned to hide my feelings. My parents were abusive as well as being perfectionists. My mother's words still echo in my mind. You'll never amount to anything. She would smash my face into the mirror as if to reinforce that lie. I was 10 years old. From nine years on, I was molested by a family member and a neighbor, reinforcing the lie, you'll never amount to anything. I believed I was only good for one purpose. Sex became dirty to me, and I began sedating the pain by inhaling from aerosol cans. That was the beginning of my growing addictions. My journey reinforced the belief that I had no value as I became involved in abusive relationships, multiple pregnancies ending in abortions, a marriage that ended in divorce, another f filled with violence, hate, and addictions. The police were common visitors to our home. I finally broke emotionally and ended up in a mental hospital. After my release, I went back to my apartment, only to find it empty. My husband had taken everything and moved out. I had lost my two children, my furniture, my husband, and even my little dog. What would I do? Where would I go? My pastor heard about Shepherd's Door and called to see if I could get in. I knew that only God could put me back together again. At Shepherd's Door, I was one of the oldest residents. The older, I realized I'm still a little child inside with a serious love and belonging need. While at Shepherd's Door, I've learned that my journey is one with wisdom. I now know I don't have to believe the lies. I will amount to something and I am worth. I will amount to something and I am worthy to achieve. I've been on the shelter campus. I've been on the shelter campus for nine months now and haven't used drugs. The truth is that the Lord loves me and drugs and sex won't fill the emptiness inside. Only He can fill that void. So, today I'm making good choices and not live in the past. My future is one of hope. The Lord is my hope. My favorite Bible verse is found in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. That is my goal.